Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rakhakadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Wakasayim, Wabarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings unto all of you, Zakwanya Wakim. Unto all the hopeful elect out there that are pushing this truth, wherever you may be scattered. The real name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means to exist or he's to be. The real name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers. Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh Shai, Rakta Yahweh Shai, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh, Rakta Yahweh Shai, Rakta Yahweh Shai. The Wadi Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man, for giving us another weekend to come out here and to condemn this wicked ass kingdom and also to let our people know you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians that you are God's chosen people, okay, that we make up the lost 12 tribes of Israel and that we are yet this day in our captivity, all right, but the Lord. He didn't forget about us, man. The Lord is still in his elect, okay? The Lord is still in his elect. We're on the cusp of a, of a, of a famine of the word of World War III, all right? Of total civil unrest here in America, right? Right now, it's so-called uh, Memorial Day weekend. Guess what? Every day, the Lord brings judgment to light, man. That's right. So a lot of niggas don't, don't get smoked tonight. It's going to be more police brutality. It's going to be a very hot summer, man. That's right. This is the book of uh, St. Baruch 4 and verse 8. And it says, it's like in verse one, it says, this is the book of the commandments of the most high and the law that endureth forever. Right. Speaking about the Holy Bible, not the Quran, not the uh, book of the dead, not the keeper, do you guess? All right. If that's even how you say it. Not any of these other books, man. Not the book of Mormon. Okay. The Holy Bible. All right. And the pocket book is part of the Bible. It was taken out by the Bible destruction in the 1860s, man. Okay. So this is Baruch. Baruch was a uh, contemporary with Jeremiah, all right? Baruch was actually a scribe for Jeremiah. Uh, and it says, all they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Right, all they that keep it shall come to life, man. You people are not living, all right? Because if you don't have the breath for you, then you ain't living, all right? See, right now, we're in that valley uh, uh, of the dry bones. No, you want to see Right now, we're in that valley of, of the dry bones and we see different camps popping up you know they might they might have the uh the fringes they might have the garments but they don't have the breath all right why because they're not calling on the true name they're not calling on the heavy father and the son they're not re repenting okay they, they never mention the chariots they don't go into prophecy the spirit of Yahweh shah is the spirit of prophecy so that one this is ezekiel 37 and one and the hand <coughs> of the lord was upon me and carried me out in the in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley. Right, and that valley is America. A valley is a very low place. All right, King David referred to this place as the valley of the shadow of death. All right, even Job spoke about the valley, man. All right. This is Psalms 23 and 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. That's America, man. All right. You, you, can, you can meet a woman, pop her, and die from AIDS, all right? You could be leaving work, you know, you bust your ass 12 hours, you could be on the drive home, the cops will pull you over and smoke you, okay? Was it Coolio? Uh, didn't he have that song, The yeah. Gangster's Paradise? Yeah. No, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yeah. Shit, y'all know the West Coast? Yeah. That's a fucking, that's his own valley in itself. Oh, yeah. oh they have, they have, they say, oh, we're gonna party in the valley. You know, and it says, uh, Psalms, and the Lord was on him to make that song. Yeah, that's a powerful song. That's a powerful song. Psalms 23 and 4, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Right, we're in that valley. Though we be walking through here, we're walking by faith, man. Like, you got these wicked ass niggas in the world, they, 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 they plainly say that they can't walk by faith. Well, guess what? We walk by faith, man. We walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. Okay. And it reads... And it reads, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Right, because why? Because the Lord did not give us the spirit of fear, man. All right, he gave us the spirit of power and of a sound mind. So we don't fear what man can do unto us. We don't fear what, 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 what the so-called white man can do. We don't fear what the police can do. Okay, we don't fear the sanctions. We don't fear these fucking people mocking us what they say about us we don't care man that's right we're in the spirit of your how about shimmy out shy y'all just outsiders looking in that's right all right all these people are just extras in the movie that's right you're gonna find out that right you're gonna find out when you when your ass get put to death 
then you go to know it. That's why the scripture says the same must know it after death by pain. So, all right, so then you go to know, oh shit, those guys were the prophets. Those, those were the men of the Lord. They were telling us the truth, man. Psalms 23 and 4, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Right, the Lord is with us, man. All right, we don't fear nothing. Not even death, because not even death can separate us from the love of our power. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Which is what? The scriptures. Yeah. Okay, that's dealing with the scriptures, man. And then it's called, it's actually called the comforter, yeah? This is the spirit of truth which the world can't receive, yeah? Back in Ezekiel 37 and 1, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Right, bones, man. All right, and we see them. We see the bones. They, they drive by, they laughing, they roll their window up, they point, they mock, they misuse the prophets, they talk shit, you know? Yeah. And it reads, and caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley. Right, there's many out there, man. All right, because Israel is as, is, is as the sand of the sea. Okay, you know? Yeah. And it says, and there were many uh, in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Yeah, they're very dry. All right, like you got niggas like Lil Dirt lining in their hair dry. Serena Williams are fucking uh, bleached her skin dry. All right, all people are, are dry out here, man. Uh, like Lot's wife, they're spiritually dehydrated. You know, they have no life, no substance. They don't have the Lord, they're not happy. They have nothing to grow. If, if, if a, 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 a dry land cannot produce fruit, right? you know? They're in a drought. Yeah, there you go. They're in a drought. And even uh, the little Wayne, the drought's coming soon. Yep. See, so they live literally what the scriptures are saying. But they make it look like appealing. They make it look cool. Yeah, so they make they make looking dead cool. Yeah. And it reads, <laughs> well, we make looking alive cool. Right. You know? Oh, what they doing? And as they're saying, look alive. Yep, <laughs> yep. And it reads, lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, son of man. See, that's spiritual. That's why the harvest is plenty. You know, it's a long journey. You know, the, the oil. You know, there's so many things you can use as an analogy to equate to our people and what tools we've been given to a living water, you know, washing them, the baptize. So, you know, when you dry, you get that water poured on you like, <gasps> you know, you, you back, you do a cleanse, you know, you know, oh, wherewithal so the young man cleanses his way. Right. Yep. Washing with the word. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, get uh, uh, spiritually ashy. Right. You know, and it reads, oh, you get a uh, so-called cotton mouth. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. You know? And it reads, uh, and he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, power, thou knowest. Right, that's a very heavy question. Like, man, can these people live? You know, they are here sagging their pants. They're, they're into uh, gang banging. They're in the alphabet community, you know? And that's how. The, that's why the other nations, when they, when they look at us, they, they rejoice, they wag their head, and they clap their hands, man. But they say, we got them. We got these niggas on crack. We got them on dope. They fill in the prison systems. But you forgot about that remnant, man. Mm. It's the remnant that you cannot touch, man. The remnant saved. It's like yeah. the uh, uh, Apostles' Channel, man. Yeah. Uh, real quick precept, because he asked, uh, he said, can they live? And he said, only the Lord knows. Yeah. This is 1 Corinthians 3 and 6. I have planted Apollo's water, but the Most High gave the increase. Right, so you might have one man planting, another man doing the watering. All right, just like we're out here right now. We, it's all of us are laboring, man. You may have a speaker, some reader. Okay, but it's your Hall of Shemi Al Shai that's going to bring that increase, man. Yeah. Ultimately, it's from the Lord, right? Because you know? we're we're cultivating a dry land, and that dry land is Jacob, as we were once dry. So there was other men that were planting, then other men were watering with the precepts. But it was the Most High that gave that increase for you to sprout out of that dry land, right. and that's why there's the parable: some fell on stony, yep. some fell on thorny. You see, so we're a plant, Jacob, my plant, you know. We're the plant and we're, we got to weather the storm, you know, so it's very spiritual. And I want to add, God speaking about plants. Now, Yahweh Shai said, Peter upon is the rock. I shall build my church. Do you brothers know what tree can grow out of a rock? A frankincense tree. It literally grows. So, you know, and our prayers are as incense, yeah, you know, so it's spiritual. You know what I mean? When you think about it, That's very spiritual. you know, back in Ezekiel 37 and four, again, he said unto me, Prophesize un upon these bones and say unto them, 
Oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Right, the key word there is prophesy. Uh, what does it mean to prophesy? It means to say before it happens. Well, guess what? It was prophesied thousands of years ago that our people will come out of this dead state, man. We were, we got it. Yeah. Rev 11 and uh, verse 8, and it says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Right, whose dead bodies? When you when you read the scripture, you should think about who dead bodies going to lie in what street. You know, imagine somebody call you that and tell you that. You're going to be like, what? You're going to start asking questions, man. Right. That's Ooh. how you got to look at the scriptures. Read it again. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. It's talking about the dead bodies of the Israelites. Right? Now, is it, um, is it actual dead bodies? No. It means spiritually dead. All right? Because our people, they, they may walk around here, you know, with the headphones on, pants sagging, all in a demonic uh, uh, music frenzy. But they're dead, even though they're alive. Can I read it for you? Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Right. And, and imagine you coming into the truth and then you leave it. You're going to remain amongst the dead, man. Mm -hmm. The scripture says it's impossible for you to be reconciled again, man. Because you put the dead. Lord to the open shame. But it's like the brother said, the walking dead. We look. You think that's just a show on AMTV? No, that's, that's real life, man. All right, that's real life, man. Every driving rush hour, you're around the walking dead, man. Okay, and it says which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Right, this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, man. You got Dwayne Wade talking about he don't lead in his marriage; he let his wife lead, and we see how that's going for him. He turned his goddamn son into his daughter, man. You know, that's a dead nigga. Yeah, that's a dead. That's a dry bone right there. And I want to say because the brother Marar made a good point. It said when you when you read it and it says their dead bodies, it should make you question who. But then the Bible gives you clues. It said in spiritual Egypt, who was in literal Egypt before dead and slavery, the Hebrew Israelites. Right, yeah. So then it would then you would have to say, well, this has got to be speaking about the Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. And then that makes you question, well, where are they today dead? Because I see them yatzvas and the, you know they're doing. So see, the, the the Bible should make you say, hmm. You know, without without the, the, the glasses of Christianity. Yeah, people want to argue, oh, this was written by man. Well, you're right. It was written by men because the Lord put the Spirit on men and told them to write it in the book. He told Habakkuk to note it in the book, told Isaiah to put it in the book, and told Edris to put it in the book, man. All right, so this this is uh this is divine intervention, man, written on paper. Okay, this is not inspired by men. The inspiration was given unto men through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right. So we could come out here and teach our people what's going to happen to us in these last days. Well, well, can I say something? I think that's a, I think that's a, uh, you know, a BS way of trying to get out the loop of the Bible because man wrote the laws that make you follow the the speed limit. Man make the laws of what you're allowed to sell by. Man, man made the books that you read in school. Man made the books that your ass bought every semester when you was going to college to get a degree, which means to lower. Right. Those, so those high ass college books, and then when you go to sell them back, you only get like fucking thirteen dollars. Oh, but thousand dollars. Right. Right. Oh, but but it's okay for polite to write a book, and your ass going by that, you know. So it's a cop out. It's a cop out. It's a weak argument. No, I got you got something to about. We need to do all three. I believe it's like the second to last verse. Because that links uh, Edom with Egypt. Can we read that again? The yep. part? Yep. Back in Rev 11 and verse 8. And it says, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Now we know what, what Sodom and Gomorrah is synonymous for. Uh, homosexuality, man. We'll just say it like that. Freakism. Okay. Un un uncontainable lust. They were so cons consumed in their lust that they wanted to get, get with the angels, man. Freak out. It's called... Uh, incontinency Water. unable to restrain or hold back and actually in the uh, coming in the future events the lord's going to pour that spirit back out uh, on the earth that's it's right. in second Ezra. that's right so right. people are going to be in an uh, incontinency spirit and they're not going to be able to control themselves with women walking around men children but that's what you've pushed you've pushed to whatever you can choose whoever you can be with so a man might identify as well i identify as yours my woman now and she may not agree but that's the vibration you push the confusion. So it's gonna backfire on you. Beautiful. Joel 3 and you want it? Joel 3 and 19. Egypt shall be a desolation. Right, Egypt is the house of bondage, man. E Egypt is always synonymous with uh slavery. Servitude. Alright?
right? Each, uh, uh, Joel 3 and 19, Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. Yeah. And it reads, Egypt, Joel 3 and 19, Egypt shall be a desolation. Right, the modern day Egypt is America, man. Whenever you think about Egypt, you think about Moses, the Hebrews, Pharaoh, all right? You think about how our people suffered in, 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 in a condition of slavery and the Lord delivered them. That's our heritage, man. Our heritage is being delivered by the Lord and it's gonna happen again on a much more magnificent scale because this time it's gonna be through what the world calls unidentified area of phenomena. But we know them as the chairs of Israel, man. Because the same way the Lord left is the same way he's returning, right? And it reads, Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. See, yeah. Thanks Egypt with Edom. Yeah. So that's how we know the modern day Egyptians are the Edomites. Yeah. You're the modern day Pharaoh. You're, this is the great house. We look up the definition of Pharaoh, it means a great house. Is not America a great house? It's called Babylon the Great. Yeah. You see? If you will, America is the house of the earth. You know, everyone could come here and dwell. Like remember when you were little, everyone could come over to the auntie house. Right. You know, everyone, there's that's a spirit you have on you. And that's the spirit America has where uh, all his eyes stand out with fatness. He get, gathers all people. That uh, rock party melts his pot. Yep. 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 And a little more, it says, for the violence against the children of Judah. Right, where did that happen? Well, you can link that with uh, Jeremiah 50. Well, the children of Israel and Judah were oppressed together because that didn't happen under the Babylonians. It didn't happen under the Romans. Why? Because the, the 10 tribes were already gone to Azeroth, which means another land, which means they were already over here in America. Okay. And it reads, uh, and it reads for the violence against the children of Judah, which it should say against uh, the violence against thy brother, yeah, Judah, yep, yep. you know, like in Obadiah, yep. you know. And it says, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. Right, they shed innocent blood in the land, man. Real quick, since you're in breath, can you go to 17 and 6, Baba Kasha? Yep. Come right now. No. Verse 17 and verse 6, and it says, And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. Right, that's America, man. And they're drunk off the blood of the Israelites. Did you brother see that video with that old bitch in the hospital? Yeah. The woman? Yeah, bro. That bitch was drunk, man. Yeah. She's talking about she wanted to see the woman's children dead. Yeah. That's how they all feel, man. Yeah. You, you know? prostitute. <laughs> she was, she was yeah. trying to cuss her up. The Lord put a spirit on that sister, though. Yeah. You know? And see, that's, that's I, I, not that I advise sisters to do that, but hey, that sister, uh, she, she know. You know, I believe that's a brother's wife. You know what I mean? She know, bro. So we have women out here that know the doctrine and believe it, man. And they got to deal with shit too. They got to deal with little Edomite devils and shit too. Because a modern day nurse is nothing more than a mammy. You know, we got to say it like it is. That's why a lot of our Latino and, um, you know, um, uh, Southern women are in the medical field. Because you're doing what you did back then. You know what I mean? It's nothing new. But that shows you they still get a harsh treatment. Yeah, man. You know, this ain't your rest, man. You know? Back in Rabbit 17 and verse 6, and it says, And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. Right, that woman is speaking about the kingdom of Babylon the Great, America. All right, and how is she drunken? Because some of us are still have to be martyrs. All right, and, there, and there's a lot of blood that's been spilled on this land, man. All right, through all uh, police violence. Oh, you got the Devil's Punch Bowl. What's that down there in Mississippi? Georgia. Georgia, where they spill so much blood that the fruit is still grows. When it grows, it's still red. Man. They don't eat the peaches. It's a no-no. Like, oh, no, 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 don't eat that. Man. Don't eat that. So that's a that's a satanic altar that has been laid, you know, where it's still a memorial to this day. Yeah. Just like uh, Emmett Till, I did a lesson on it. Like Emmett Till, they, they, they murdered him, got away with it, if you will. And then uh, now where they found his body, they continually shoot it up. They'll come back and shoot it. So that, and I did a lesson, a quick example of Isaiah 14 and 21. They always say, oh, well that was them, but you're in that same spirit. Right. You're in the same spirit as if you would do it today. Well, it says he cast off all pity. You don't have no pity for uh, the man's memorial. You right. You talk about memorials, right? What about our memorial? Exactly, right, man? Exactly, you know? That's a great point. 
No. So Lord's Will, this is Esau's last memorial. Right. Because mem the, the Memorial Day represents the fallen soldiers in his military. Well, don't you know it was the U.S. government that overcame Gad under the 7th Cavalry? All right. So, well, hey, we got a memorial, too. Don't you know what you call uh, Mount Rushmore is actually known as the Black Hills that's legally owned by the Native Americans that the FBI wages war with them continually? So, hey, we got a lot, too, man. We put a memorial up when we woke Amalek's ass, man. Yep. Exodus 17 and 15, let this be a memorial. So we got great memorials to live by. And once we get out of here, that's going to be a memorial. That's right. The same way we got to sit here and deal with your punk, vain, bullshit ass, high hell days, you're going to have to deal, embrace, and reverence our high holy days. And you're going to have your fucking head down. Man. Yep. Just like the brother down there in Mississippi said, it's going to be nothing but thunder. Man. Yep. No. Yep. And it says, and with the blood of... It's like it. And, and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shai, when I saw her, I wandered with great admiration. And you know where the so like, you know where the, the martyrs' blood is? Satan's seat. Yeah. Rev 2 and 13. Just like Auntie Paz back then, just like today. Okay? You got Stephen, Auntie Paz, John, and many other men. James. Ja the what? James that have died? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. All right? And yeah. we're. Yeah. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? And we're here. We're here in Satan's seat again. You have brothers having dreams about Esau rolling up. Roll on us, man. You know? Shit, don't don't uh, threaten us with a good time. Right. We're already in captivity. Right. That's why Jake be running. You think you free. We're spiritually free. That's right. You know? Really, he's the one that's free, man. That's why they're releasing all this information about the chariots. You know? They're the, they're the ones afraid. We're good, man. All right, they're, they're afraid that we wait. It's going to say it. Watch. Back in Rev 11 and uh, verse 8, yeah. it says, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt. Right, the America is the real Sodom in Egypt. The spiritually Sodom in Egypt, man. The modern day Sodom and Gomorrah and Egypt. You know what's crazy? The Bible says spiritually, but Esau so carnal, he actually made an Egypt, New York. Yep. Yeah, in the yeah. movie Army of Dead, yeah, the, it said Sodom and Gomorrah, um, and Gomorrah yep. which they ended up nuking at the end. Yep. There is a Sodom in America. There is a Gomorrah in America. Well, it's called Sin City. Sin City. Yep. All right. There's the whole America. In, oh, I will put my eyes on the sinful kingdom. Yep. That's the whole America. Yep. The whole America is the sinful kingdom. It's Sin City. Yep. yep. And it says, where also our Lord Shai was crucified. Yeah, this is where our Lord was crucified again. How? Because of what they did done to his image. His characteristics. They make you think that you can come as you are. That God is some all loving, yeah, the water, man. This fucking guy, which is Caesar Bogier, the son of Rodrigo the Sixth, Pope of Rome. That's an actual man that raped his sister Lucretia. This is not our Lord. This is the fucking devil, man. So this is a crucifixion. Yeah. This is him being crossed out. You know? But verse 9, and it says, And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days in the half. Right, which is dealing with the Moabites, the so-called Asians looking on our dead bodies. All right, the so-called Japanese looking on our dead bodies, the white man, the Ishmaelites, all of them looking on our dead bodies. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Yeah, What's up, man? We're the Israelites. We're out here to teach our people that we're God's chosen people. What would you say your nationality is on your pop side? I read the Quran, I read the Bible. We deal with the Holy Bible. The Bible contains prophecy. It was prophesied that the so-called white man is the devil. And in the last days, he'll be destroyed. All right? And the one that you know is God, is he going to send his son, Yahweh Shai, back to deliver the elect. Yeah. All right? And, uh, and going back with the Quran, like the name Allah, that's actually our language. Allah means power in our original tongue. See, we're not black. We're not African because you got to go beyond that. You can't go with what they gave us. So we got to dig more. And even the name Allah is from our Hebrew birth tongue, which means power. And back before uh, the um, the Most High gave his name fully to the people, the other na nations will call him Allah Shadyam, demon-like power, because he would judge them for their wickedness. But then he gave his true name to Moses, Yahweh, which he came and delivered us out of Egypt. We were the Hebrews. We built those pyramids. That was us. So now being in the last days, our spirits are awakening. The, the dry land that we walk on, now we are standing as trees because we've been given living water from the death of our big brother, Yahweh Shai, who would be considered a so-called black man today, which is true. Jews, 
they're actually from the tribe uh, uh well they're so-called negroes but but our real biblical uh tribe would be judah or yahawada so we come out and are moved in the spirit to tell our people to plant that seed to, to, to let it water and let Yahweh Bashem Al Shai give the increase upon you so you can repent and come back before the destruction, the inevitable destruction. Because <laughs> World War III is coming, the dollar's gonna collapse, they're gonna introduce a new uh, branding instrument, which is known in the Bible as the mark of the beast. They're gonna started, force it upon you. Started it with the, with the, with the coronavirus. Yep, yep, yep. You said Yahweh Shai. Yeah, Yahweh. And then his son name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Yeah, that's who you there call. You that's go. your savior, brother. Right, yep. Call on those names. Yep. Call on I heard them. of Yahshua. I heard of Yahuwah. Well, those are uh, like what you call Yiddish. Like there's no vowels in our language. The there's V, no there's, there's no, no U, no there's no V. You see? Like even the letter J is the uh, uh, youngest letter in the alphabet. We're talking about a man who walked 2,000 years ago. So if the J wasn't there, the U wasn't there, the O wasn't there, you know what I mean? What would they call him? See, so it's Yahweh Shai. Right. I understand it. Like, I believe in the God, no question. Yeah, of course you do. No question. Like, every language, it's a set time, and they come in. It's yep. gonna give It's going to give different thoughts in the yep. story. Like, like you said, it's all about learning. Yep. Keep it going. There you go, brother. Hey, hey, mate, may you help us from outside, you know, continue to deal with you, brother. That's it, brother. That's all we're here to do. Yeah, here's the light, man. Yeah, have a good one, brother. Have a good one, brother. That's beautiful. Call all y'all, my shout out. Shalom, brother. Shalom. Shalom. Yep. That's beautiful. That, that's exactly how Jake's supposed to come up. It's just like that. So call all y'all, my shout out, man. And the brother was going in. You got it, brother Saki. The brother was going in in the spirit and going into the planting to the water. And may Yahweh Bashim give him the increase. He's going into the dry land. That's exactly it. You see? So, hey, Lord's will. What you got? Back to Rev. Back to Rev. Yep. Back in Rev, uh, chapter 11 and verse 9. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half. Right, because these other nations, they know who we are, man. But they're not going to suffer us. And they, it's not Really, it's not their job to tell us, man. That's why the Lord sent our people out here, man. That's why the Lord told Moses, I'm going to raise up a prophet like unto your brethren. Okay? The Lord ain't going to have no goddamn Moabite out here telling us who we are. He sent his own sons to tell us who we are, man. You know? But you know, it's dope, though. But with, with that, the Lord is going to judge Esau, our brother, for not for being like one of them. Right. Remember, he said, you were as one of them. Yep. So really, Esau, he's under the brotherly contract, too. So you're going to answer because you were supposed to put us on. And that's why it says, what has thou to done with my statutes and commandments? You should have put your brother on. So, hey, that's beautiful. And it says... And shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Right, that's what it means when they won't suffer them to be put in graves. They won't tell us who we are. They're not going to uh, give us our national. They're not going to say you guys took down the Romans and you guys ruled Europe for a thousand years. They're not going to say you were the Vikings. Okay? They're going to say it was them. They had to bury yep. them. They were the last Mohicans. They were the Vikings. They were the Samurais. Yeah. Okay? They were the Egyptians. They were the Sakari. They were the Magdalene. Yeah. They were the Jews. Yeah. Sakarians. You know, you know what they will tell you? Hey, well, you did get a triple double and scored 62 points in that game. Right. Do you know? They'll tell you know what I'm saying? Right. That's the most they'll tell you, ass. Yeah. You know, because they know if you're uh, not serving your power, then they're in power. Mm -hmm. Verse 10, and it says, And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts to one another. Right. We were those gifts to them, whatever they were man. Well, I've given a, a boy for a harlot. Yeah. I've sold a girl for a bottle of wine that they might drink. Weirdo gifts, man. You know, if you watch that show uh, Yasuki on Netflix, that's the so-called uh, Afro Samurai. You know, but he was actually a gift to those Ammonites. And then after his time served there, he got put back in slavery. When you do your research on it, man. And it says, because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. Right, we're dealing with the, uh, the Northern Kingdom. Southern people. Right. Okay, now how did we torment them? Going back to Joshua, baby. When we took the land, okay? When, when Yahweh shot made the, the sun stand still, yeah. we was fucking up these nations we were tormenting them. Yeah. And all these nations were afraid when we left Egypt, man. The Moabites wanted to curse us. E Edomites didn't want us to pass through their land for water. Oh, yeah. Amalek made war against us, man. First. The first nation. Verse 11, and it says, 
And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them. Right, so you can go back to about 16, 19, okay? Even though the Northern Kingdom, they've been catching hell way before that, going back to uh, 1400s. Yeah, late 1400s, 1492. But hey, what did the Lord say? I will save the tents of Judah first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so about 1619 to about 1969, 1970, that's the three days and a half. Yep. And it says, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Great, we all here, we're standing upon our feet right now, man. Okay, and my, one of my favorite scriptures is Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness mm -hmm. of such as afflicted. You know, and that was spiritual. Uh, as the brothers reading that, the great fear, how they walk by, yeah. you know, on a spiritual, you know, not that we say to do that, but that's very spiritual, you know. Uh, this is Hosea chapter 6, verse 1. Come and let us return unto Yahweh, for he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us, and the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Beautiful, man. We're in that third day right now. We're being raised up. You know, first of all, the Lord has torn us. As written in Isaiah, um, I have given them to thy hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. And he also said, I will tear, break the brotherhood. Yeah. You know, which was fire. Going back to the movie, Ar what is it, Army of the Dead? In the movie, you had uh, Goose, which yeah. was northern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the one Jake that was southern. And they was together. Yeah. And I was like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. The Judah, Ephraim. But you know, I wasn't around brothers, so I can't say it. It was fire. It was fire, bro. I, I, I ended up going to watch it. But that's beautiful, man. The breaches. You know, the Lord broke down the brotherhood. Now he's building it up. Hey, yesterday, man, I was just thanking the Lord for the brotherhood, man. Yeah, me too. That's the spirit, that's the spirit bro. The Lord is uh, closing up the breaches there. Yeah. Right, breaches are being closed up. Yep. You know, it's bringing brothers together. Yep. You know, brothers coming from all different states. Yep. You know, all different walks of life. Yeah. You know, coming under one banner. You know, with no animosity, you know, it's organic, so it's growing. The Lord's taking GMOs out. He's putting the spirit on us to fast more, pray more, you know, just do what we got to do spiritually more, you know, and, and that's what's beautiful, you know? Yeah, because we're the men. You know, I know you've probably seen that video with that Israelite woman. She's talking about there's a man shortage. Yep. Yeah, we're yeah. the real men. Yep. You know, there's yep. a man shortage. Yep. She said he's both of ours. <laughs> that one you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. And it's true though. Yeah, man. It's true. And and she admitted about how the agenda with the, the ABCs against us. So hey, you know, that's why us being patient, all right, you don't want me today, but you're gonna want me soon. Yeah, right. Because we're gonna still be Lord's will doing what we doing, and you're gonna find out it wasn't worth it out there. Yeah. Then you're gonna have to come crawling back, if you will. But hey, we're not here to uh brown beat our people, you know. Uh it says he that um uh shows mercy, you know, receives mercy, if you will. Yeah, man. And the Lord's going to give us seven women. Yeah. You know, complete number. And what is that? What are we getting those women to do to bring back our people? Yeah. We're not getting them women to get drunk and pop and pull out. Excuse, not to be lewd. We understand that women is because we're going to be rebuilding a nation. An empire, man. An empire, a man. Business, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, our family structure. Yeah. The whole, the whole Israelite family structure is completely destroyed, man. I told that to a woman before. I said, yo, you selfish. If you honestly think that you, uh, if you don't got a spirit that you understand